Do you want to learn how to create designs for your online coffee mug business, but you're not sure how to? If so, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I create designs for my online coffee mug business. But before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Lala and Derek and I have created this channel DIY mug biz to help others build their own highly profitable mug business. If you're looking to start your own mug business, consider subscribing to our channel and be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'll show you how you can get our free ultimate DIY mug biz starter kit. Now let's get to the step by step on how to create designs for your online coffee mug business. Okay, open up your internet browser. The software that I'll be using is called canva.com. And Canva is a free software. So if you don't already have Canva, go ahead and sign up. But since I already have an account, I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, so once you're logged in, this will be how the homepage will look. Go ahead and go up to the upper right hand corner up here it says create a design click create design and we're going to do a custom size and the custom size we want is 500 by 500 pixel go ahead and click create new designs and then it'll open up to this page with this canvas so once we're here we have a blank canvas to start off with now we need a design so we're going to go over here to the left where all the tabs are and we're going to go down to photos so with canva the good thing about them is that they have many images that you can use for free so we're going to use something that's trending so i believe unicorn is very trending right now so now canvas pre-populate all of this image on the left here that we can use So as you notice, there's some that says Pro. With Pro, it means there's a um, upgraded version that you'll have to um, upgrade to. But of course, they have many different free ones that you can use. I really like this unicorn right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the image. And once I click on the image, it's gonna pull over onto my canvas. Once I have it over to my canvas, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mouse over here on the bottom right. I'm just gonna drag it out because I wanna enlarge that. I'm gonna do the same thing for the left corner. Once I enlarge that, I'm gonna place it where I want it to be. Next, I wanna add some kind of tax or name. So I'm gonna go over here to the, the left here and I'm gonna click tax. The cool thing about the tax is that Canva has a lot of pre-populate font that you can already that you can use and again you can just keep scrolling until you find some but i'm gonna go ahead and just create a heading i want to create my own so i'm gonna just click on that drag it up and highlight that and i'm gonna type a name in catherine So I'm going to go ahead and just enlarge that so that it fit my canvas until I'm happy and content with the size. Okay, but I don't really like the font. So I'm going to go over here to the open sand extra and I'm going to click on it. It's going to drop down a bunch of font for me to choose from. Again, you can just keep scrolling until you find something that you like. Madeline. That sounds interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And now my name has been changed to that font. So I like that, that's a cool font. So I'm gonna go ahead and enlarge that again. Once I enlarge that, I'm gonna center it. And the cool thing about Canva is that once you drag your image, like it helps center it for you. So the line in the middle right there, the pink line, that is the center of the canvas. So that's where I want it to be. So after I have it where I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight the whole thing. 
Once I highlight that, I want to group my image. And the reason why I want to group my image is because I don't want it to be two separate image. I want it to be one full image. So now that I have one full image, I'm just going to move it around so that it can be centered in the middle. You see the, the two lines there. So once I have that, I'm good. And now my picture is done. Before I show you how to download this image, I want to just come back over to the left side here and kind of talk about some of the things that they have. So there's upload, there's photos, there's element, and you can use any of these elements that they have shapes, frames, stickers, designs for cause, um, charts, grids, so many different things that you can use. Of course, we kind of went over the text. They have the different styled for your headings, colors, and just cool other stuff. All right, so let's get back to this image. So once I'm good with that, I'm gonna go ahead and click download. And I'm gonna click the transparent background right here. And the reason why I want it to be transparent background is because I want the image. I don't want the background, the white background that the image is on. I want the image itself. So that's what transparent background means, if you want the back or not. So because I don't, I'm going to click transparent background and then I'm going to hit download. So now I'm just waiting for my image to be download. Once it's download, it's going to pull up and then I'm going to click this three button on the top right and then save as. And I'm going to save that as Catherine. Once I save that, I'm gonna click X out, X out. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my screen. And then I'm gonna move over to Microsoft Word. Now that I am in Microsoft Word, I'm gonna insert my image as a picture. So I'm gonna go ahead to the tab, hit insert, picture on this device, on this desktop, and Catherine. Insert. So once the image is on my Microsoft Word, I'm gonna right click, go down to wrap text in front of text. And the reason why I wanna do that is because I want to be able to move my image freely. If I don't do that, I won't be able to move my image. So now that I can move my image freely, I'm gonna move it up to the left corner and I'm just gonna resize it down. Go up to view and click rulers. And the reason why we want to click the ruler is because we want our image to be about two and three fourth. About two inch and three fourth. So counting from the top of my mouse here all the way down to somewhere around here. So I'm going to scroll out to make my image larger. And then I'm just going to bring it in a little bit, my image, so that it can be right where I want it to be. So I'm measuring it over here. And the size that I'm measuring my image up to is a 15 ounce coffee mug. So if you have a smaller coffee mug which is the 11 ounce the image would be a lot smaller than this but because i'm doing it for a 15 ounce this is the size that i want it to be so once i have it the size i want i'm gonna go up to the tab up here i'm gonna click format and i'm gonna rotate my image and flip it horizontal and the reason why i want to flip it horizontal is because once i print my image the image it's gonna be towards the mug, it will be facing the correct way. I want to discuss with you about the special printer and the special paper that you'll need to print this image out on so that you can burn it onto your mug. And that special printer and special ink and special paper is not your regular copy paper or your regular printer. 
So if you have a regular printer and a regular copy paper and regular ink, you won't be able to print this image out and burn it onto your mug. So make sure you have that. And if you're looking to start your own online mug business, I will be showing you how to get our free ultimate DIY mug biz starter kit for beginners. And in that course, you'll be able to get the information you need to start your very own mug business. So stay tuned for that. Once I flip the image, I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. And the reason why I'm bringing it down is because once I print it, I don't want any of my image to be cut off. So once I do that, I'm good to go and I can just go over here to file and go to my print and then pick the printer, the special printer that I have to be able to print this image off on, which is Rico. And that is how you create a design for your coffee mug. If you have any questions for me, please leave it in the comment below and I will be more than happy to answer them. If you liked today's video, click the like button. And before I let you go, as promised, I'm gonna show you how to get our free ultimate DIY Mobis starter kit. At the bottom of this video, in the description, you'll be able to find the link to the ultimate DIY Mobis starter kit for beginners or you can find it in the comment. Once you click that link, it will take you to this page. And on this page, it will be the first box. Go ahead and click the first box. And that is the ultimate DIY mob is starter kit. Once you click the button, it will take you to the ultimate DIY mob is starter kit homepage. On this homepage, you'll be able to enroll now. In this course, you'll be able to know exactly what equipment and inventories you need to start your very own mug business. If you scroll down, here are the goods that the starter kit will prepare you and educate you on for your mug business. Go ahead and click enroll now. And once you click the enroll now button, it'll take you to this page where you can sign up. Once you sign up, you'll get an email confirmation saying that you are now enrolled. And that is all for this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. Again, if you're considering starting your very own mug business, consider subscribing to our channel and I will see you in the next video.